Hello all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there, this is Dragothian here, and today we're going to be doing the long-awaited Commander Pairing Ranker for one Herald. This is going to be fun. I've adjusted the way that I've done the actual setup on this. I used to have best, better, good, or best, better, eh kind of thing. I had a three-tier system, let's just put it that way. I've changed it up because ultimately nobody's going to be looking at the red, right? You don't want to have to go to the red. If you're in the red, you probably shouldn't be using the pairings in the first place. So here's what we're going to do. We've adjusted it to where you've got the best tier. This is the tier that I would basically say, you know what? If you asked me, is this a really good pairing? Is it going to work on a battlefield? Is it going to work on a rally? Yes, it will work. I would go with it 100%. Don't question it. Just do it. Just do it. Backups is going to be the, okay, they're pretty good. It works, right? It works. It's not going to really be a detriment to you, but there are better options, and that's what the gold tier is for. So we're just doing two tiers. Now, again, throw a comment in the comment section below if you feel like I've missed one. I feel like I've been pretty in-depth with the commanders that I picked. There are some that could have been, like, you know, squeezed into the backups, but I think these are the best backups and the best best. This is the best top tier and then best backups. So let's jump into it. For what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a, a drop down pane just like I have been for these types of videos instead of doing them one at a time. That way we can go through them really quick. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the best. Let's start with the best. There we go. So there's the best. Let me, <laughs> let me adjust that a bit. So here we go, here's the best and Again, I kept it really exclusive. I think, anyway. I kept it pretty exclusive. I did add a few gold key commanders in there because people that have been playing for a long time should start to ma start maxing these guys. Frederick, your Juliuses, things like that. Charles, certainly, because you should just max him as early as possible. But I've added some very exclusive commanders in here, and I'm going to go through them really quick. So Guan's an obvious choice. You want Guan primary for his extra skill damage. He's great open field with Harold. He's great rallying with Harold. He's one of the best pairs alongside of Alex and Charles. So those three right there are probably your, if you had to pick your, your toppest of top tier, those three would be your toppest of top tier. However, all of these other eight commanders that I've got on here are top tier as well. YSG, without a doubt, as a secondary to Harold, will pump out some serious damage with Harold being primary, but very squishy, okay? <laughs> very squishy. So make sure that you have him protected with your alliance mates, with your other marches. Don't just throw him in the middle of a thing and just expect things to happen other than you getting sent back with a sad face. Sun Tzu, again, being as legendary as he possibly can be. Sun Tzu is a top tier pairing with Harold. He adds a little bit of defense. Um, well, damage reduction, I should say, not defense. Um, skill damage uh, increase as well as more AoE damage as well as more rage. I mean, Sun Tzu is just a beast. He should be a legendary commander if we're really, really looking at it. But I'm glad he's not because he's a really good epic commander to, to be able to max and not be very expensive. Richard. Richard, I, I toss back and forth because, again, Richard's still a great commander, okay? But he started to lose a little bit of his luster because he just doesn't do damage. He doesn't do any damage other than the normal attack damage and things like that. But the things that he brings to the table with the slow, with the damage taken reduction, with the, I mean, he's got a bunch of different things that just work for any infantry commander pairing. And if you've got a, a commander like Harold, where he is just basically an ax throwing beast, right? Pairing him up with somebody who can help keep him alive is not a bad idea. So I think Richard is a top tier pairing for him. I would throw Richard second in this situation um or you can throw him primary for a little more tankiness but you're going to lose some of the rage okay so that's just something to keep in mind and i've got one special one here that i really want to kind of go in depth with i'm even going to bring the game up because <laughs> i want to show you kind of what my thoughts are uh julius and freddie both really good pairings they're going to increase his troop capacity which will help with his survivability um, Freddy has a heal, which will also help with his survivability. He pumps out a ton of damage. You can put the latent power talent on the skill damage for Harold primary 
and that will be a very, very solid pairing. It's not top, you know, it's not mind blowing, but it's solid, right? You've got extra troops, you've got more heals, you've got more damage, all good things, okay? Um, Julius provides a little bit of that tankiness that Harold is missing. So he reduces his own defense, right? Well, Julius kind of helps alleviate that, right? With his, um, his, his extra damage that he pumps out, obviously with his primary skill, with the extra defense capabilities that he gains when he triggers his skills, with the extra troop capacity bonus that he has on the fourth skill. He does a little bit of damage whenever you are expertising him as well overall and rounding out a very solid pairing for for Harold which when I'm looking for pairings with Harold I'm looking for a couple criteria right I'm looking for extra tankiness and I'm looking for augmenting his damage and I'm looking for helping him survive right and Julius kind of fits all those things he fits all three of those criteria pretty well um, so I chose him as a best pairing for Harold again secondary any leadership commander you see on this thing always 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 secondary leo we've had our opinion on leo on this channel i wanted him to be so much better than he is but if you're going to pair him with somebody i think there's really his two best pairings is guan and harold harold leo or leo harold both work really well i've used them on the battlefield i've got decent reports from them harold primary got a little more severely wounded than i liked but Leo primary held his own. He survived on the battlefield quite well. And I've rallied with them. And they are a very good pair, especially in Heroic Anthem. But again, with Leo, his main thing is he just doesn't cause... It's kind of like a similar thing with Richard. He doesn't cause enough damage when he's supposed to be a damage infantry commander. Kind of take that for what it is. But he is a top tier pairing. If you're going to have Leo with somebody, Harold and Leo is a great pair. Now Mulan, I, I'll start with the um, I'll start with the the in-game stuff with Mulan because I've I've just got to show you, I've got to show you what I was looking at so I can explain it to you better <laughs> because honestly it's just I was kind of surprised I was kind of surprised so let's go down to Mulan really quick and I'll show you what I mean so here's Mulan first off attack defense health bonus fifteen percent. It goes to 20% when you expertise her, and you get a 25% march speed bonus. Survivability, damage, augment, health and defense bonuses when, again, Harold drops his own defense. This is helpful, okay? And not only is it helpful to Harold, but it's helpful to either all of your own marches around you or other alliance mates. So, good pairing so far. Second skill, damage taken reduction of 5%. Again, another helpful benefit. Now, Sun Tzu provides 10%, so keep that in mind. When attacked, there's a 20% chance the attackers, you reduce the attacker's rage by 100. Again, helpful, helpful, this is helpful. Experience, not so helpful. But then the fourth skill, increases attack by 20%, again, helpful. When serving as secondary commander, her using active skill causes the target to take 20% increased damage from all sources for three seconds. Again, so helpful. So helpful. Mulan as a secondary to Harold is a good pair. It's a really good pair. All the things that are happening here are very, very good, except for the experience bonus third skill there. And again, her expertise increases the duration and the strength of the buff that you get from the first skill. So this is a good pairing. This is a very good pairing. And that's why I added her into the top tier pairing for Harold. Now let's go to Nebuchadnezzar. By the way, I looked at Cyrus too. He just has too many things that are saying for archers, needs archers, archers only. It just doesn't work. But Nebu. I think this is a sneaky pairing that um, <laughs> could really, really, really be a huge pairing. I've got people testing it for me now because I don't have Nebu maxed, but I've got Harold maxed. So... I've got one guy in 307 that I believe has both, and I'm arranging some fights with him now, but this is my sneaky, this could go really, really, really well, or you might need to discount this particular commander, but I think it's going to go really well. So what does Harold do best, right? He pumps out a ton of skill damage, he pumps out um, AoE skill damage, he just does a bunch of stuff when it comes to damage. So what does Nebuchadnezzar do? Kind of the same thing. 
And a lot of his stuff is not contingent on archers. His second skill is, okay, archer defense bonus 30%, march speed bonus 15%, okay? So we're losing 30% archer defense, all right? But look at what we get. 1,500 five target AOE, okay? Third skill, counterattack damage bonus whenever we're, we're rallying something, which again, Harold is known to do. Counterattack damage bonus of 30% with stacks with Harold's counterattack damage bonus because this is passive. Direct damage factor of 800 on top of that, 10% chance. And reduce their march speed, which again, I'm not sure why there's a march speed reduction on a rally attack, but who cares? Destroyer of Karchemish. Now, I guess, let me go back to the third one because I just thought of this. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Uh, counter rally. <laughs> Hello. Counter rally. Counter rally is the way to go here. Uh, march speed reduction, you're going to reduce the march speed of the, the rally that's coming towards something you don't want attacked which will help you swarm something down. And this is passive, guys. So this should likely stack with my other video that I did last week on stacking March B reductions. Saladin and Richard. Just saying. Four skill. Destroyer of Karchemish. Troops of this commander deal. 15% increased damage. Helpful. And each normal attack has a 10% chance to reduce the target's rage by 100. Helpful. Can trigger every three seconds. Super helpful. <laughs> this is a great commander to pair up with. And it gets better. <laughs> it gets better at the same time. Deals more additional damage to the current target. 500 whenever you expertise Nebuchadnezzar. I think this is going to be an amazing pairing. The only thing that doesn't work is the 30% uh, archer damage. And the march speed. Everything else on Nebuchadnezzar works. And the best parts of Nebuchadnezzar are the parts that work. So I think... Nebuchadnezzar is going to be a top tier pairing. Just me personally. I haven't heard anybody else kind of yelling out to the rooftops about that. And I haven't really been yelling it out, but I thought about it the other day and I've got people working on the, um, the testing for it to back up the thought, back up the theory craft. All right. That's the top tier pairings. Again, we rounded it out with Mulan and Nebuchadnezzar. Let's jump to the backups. And the backups are basically just miniature versions of what we just did, right? So we've got Constantine, which again, four skill helps us survivability. Health bonus for infantry is very nice to have. It kind of offsets the defense debuffs that you're doing to yourself, in my opinion. Um, again, debuffs for his primary skill, as well as some extra tankiness. I think it's okay. I think it's okay to pair Constantine as a second with Harold. And that will help. But again, he doesn't pump any damage out. He doesn't augment additional damage when it comes to Harold. Okay. Okay, not great. Mehmed, again, he's going to be better in a rally with Harold than he will be on the open field. I like Mehmed from a AoE damage standpoint, from a troop capacity standpoint, from a an extra damage standpoint for city hitting. But his AoE is subpar. Um, when it's open field only, okay? And again, it has that 15% reduction, whereas Sun Tzu, for instance, you get to use all of his stuff and he doesn't have an AOE reduction. So something to th something to keep in mind. Um, Ethelfled, same thing. I think she's got good help to Herald as far as the debuff that she provides to the target, the, um, the bonuses to counterattack damage, things like that, but just nothing screaming like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Tamiris is always a, set, a good second backup to any infantry commander. She pumps out damage. She debuffs the uh, skill damage on the target itself. Um, she's just good. And she got a counterattack damage bonus as well. So also a decent pair. Was kind of teetering between top tier and backup for Tamiris. But it works. It definitely works. Now the next one, Ashida. <laughs> I, I had a hard time. I had a hard time putting this one on the list. But it kind of worked. It was kind of like the Mulan. I I just kind of looked at Mulan and then I looked at Ashida and I'm like, okay, this kind of works. If you if you've only got Ashida maxed out out of all these commanders, he works. He works. He does the re, the rage regen. He does the increased skill damage. He's got extra health. He's got I mean he's got a heal. He does the criteria that I was looking for, right? So he kind of works as a backup. YSS same thing. He does some things really well. His extra bonuses are going to be for more than one troop type, so it's not quite as good as a, a best tier. Um, so I I kind of knocked him down to the backups. Same thing with Trajan. 
he does work really well with Harold. He provides the defense that you're losing whenever you're... So if you look at the skills, right, they basically offset each other. As Harold is supposed to be losing defense, Trajan is supposed to be giving you defense. So that's really good. It's just that Trajan's skill damage is very subpar. Um, and again, without having multiple troop types, it gets even more subpar. So Trajan's on the backups. Um, Elgi, decent pairing as a secondary, will help to focus target things down. Um, the extra 100% attack, attack skill is very nice. The extra infantry attack and defense, I think. It's either, it's, I think it's attack and defense um, will help as well. But again, nothing mind blowing. Scipio, miniature version of Julius without the skill damage and without the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, without the, uh, the skill damage bonus that Julius provides. So basically the normal attack augmentation that Julius provides. Scipio does as well. That's nice. His counterattack damage bonuses are nice as well. So he makes it into the backups. Osman and Diao Chan, I basically make these two interchangeable. They both do very, very good things. One does more damage. One does more survivability, right? So Osman's the heavier damage one. And then he also has the troop capacity bonus, whereas Diao Chan has good damage. Pretty, pretty darn good damage, right? And she's got the heal. So very, very nice. And I threw Moctezuma in here only reason i did that let me move the sub button so you guys can see moctezuma only reason i did this his main mechanism is if you attack something that's got a health debuff on it you have a chance to proc a heal and it's a pretty significant heal it's a 700 damage factor heal or healing factor heal moctezuma only has a health debuff on barbarians so that's garbage but there's a piece of equipment <laughs> that gives you a health debuff. If you've got that piece of equipment from Heroic Anthem, this does make sense. But this also makes Moctezuma basically parable with anybody. So don't look too much into this one. This is my final commander here on the list. But it'll work if he's got the... Uh, I, I don't remember the name of the piece of equipment. Um, we can go check it really quick if you want. Let's go check it really quick because that's, that's the final commander. So... Let's go to the go. I want to say it's the dagger. Yep. Concealed dagger. Attacks have a 30% chance to reduce the target's health by 5%. Stacks up to three times. This should proc Moctezuma's skill. Okay. So if you've got this and if you put it on Herald, not too bad. But again, decent backup, not top tier in my opinion. Hope it's been helpful for you guys. I hope this has given you what you need. Let me go ahead and close this out so you guys can get the nice full picture at the end. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know if there's something I missed. Let me know if there is a elite pairing that I have completely and totally missed on this ranker. I think personally this is pretty darn good for Harold. If you follow this ranker, you should be in very, very top tier status when it comes to open field and rally. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. Take care.